now i am going to discuss another very important thing you see that when i try to register as a vendor for example i am going to give here the vendor one and email is vendor one at the rate of gmail.com password is password and this is password okay so i click on register now you will see that it will send an email so just wait for some times yes you see that thanks for sign up okay now here this is vendor one the problem is if i click on the verify email address it is taking me to the dashboard for the vendor not in not the vendor dashboard it is taking me to the dashboard that is customer dashboard but the vendor has a another dashboard you know that is vendor dashboard but it does not take you to the vendor dashboard it is just which dashboard that is customer dashboard so in order to fix this one i am going to do one thing you also see that when a person hit dashboard for example i am going to show you the vendor on okay i am going to log out but in the case of vendor for example the vendor that is vendor one so you see that if i remove this the dashboard it is taking me to where it is taking me to the customer panel right so this is actually the problem the vendor should not see this space how we can fix it in order to fix this one i am going to do one thing i am going to the web.php this is a dashboard okay i am going to check if a user who is login if his role is vendor or customer or admin i am going to check in order to fix this issue okay so let's check it i am going not view dashboard i am going to create a controller for the customer okay here you see that under the controller there is admin panel so admin controller there is a vendor panel vendor controller similarly i am going to create here a customer panel and customer controller okay so in order to do that i am going to the terminal and here write command so php artisan make controller and then i am going to create customer panel and then customer controller so here in the customer panel there is a customer controller i am going to write here public function dashboard like this so here i am going to call return view that is dashboard dashboard because this already is showing here i am just converting this code with controller activities so here i remove this and here i call customer controller class and index is the function so in the top i am going to copy this on paste it this is my customer panel so customer panel and here will be customer controller so customer controller index function will be called or if you want you can call this function dashboard customer controller dashboard function so here this is dashboard yes view is dashboard okay fine here i am going to check it like this this is if the auth user auth user of role if this role is admin then user will be redirected to return redirect he will be redirected to the admin dot dashboard if the role is admin and if the role is vendor that means here i can call that is uh, else else if the role of user is vendor then it will be taken to the vendor dashboard otherwise it will take to the normal dashboard that means customer dashboard okay so this is okay now i used the auth here so as i use the auth class in the top i will have to call use auth okay now it should work now as i am logged in as a vendor 
if I want to hit this URL again, you see that it is forcing me to the vendor dashboard because I logged in as a vendor user. I log out. Now if I log in as a customer like this, so customer is password is the password. Sorry, here is L missing. Now password, password. Yes. When I logged in as a customer, then this dashboard is okay. It is showing. But if I log in as vendor like this, so here I will be taken to the vendor dashboard. So it is working. So I hope you have understood how it works here. And this is very perfect. And if the person is admin, if he log in as admin, one, two, three, four, admin dashboard. But as an admin, if you try to hit the dashboard, you see that it is taking him to the verify email. So in order to fix the uh, to fix this error, as you will not change the admin anymore. So here I can put any default number here. For example, here it is null, you see. So I am just going here and call any date anytime you select just click on this click on outside any value comes here that is perfectly fine now refresh admin dashboard okay so if i try to hit the dashboard it is taking me to the admin dashboard so it is perfect if also i try to use the vendor dashboard it will not work so there is 404 press he will not be able to access the vendor so this is perfectly working.